Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday, October 13th. Um, we're halfway through the month almost. We're not supposed to get a frost yet all the way out till the 24th, which is good because we still have maybe five or six more to aerate. I'm not sure. Um, we're waiting back on some of them. I know we have one, two, three, four more to do, definitely. Um, but there's a possibility of maybe eight, nine more. It just depends if any they're going to do the aeration or not. Now, this one that we're getting ready to mow, you guys seen us aerate seed. We put soil down in the bad spot in the front of the yard. Um, we're back here to mow it today. It's been 19 days. I'm not sure if the client's been watering. Um, I think she has. She bought a bigger tripod sprinkler, but I'm not sure she's been watering like what do you say consistently after the rain goes through people see we got a week of rain and they're like okay we're good now technically you could be good and not have to worry um until the next rain but um if you want the grass to grow better and faster after a week of rain and it's already i'll show you it's already germinating like crazy um you can go to every other day and then go to probably once a week once we get into the core temperatures um, but most people don't even water. They just hope for the rain and the dew. And you can tell the difference between the ones that do water and the ones that don't water. Um, the one yesterday that we mowed, he waters half the yard because it's so big. Um, and I think we have a couple other ones that they might be consistent on watering. But we can tell when the cores are there, if they've been watering since, like this one's 19 days. If um, there's still cores in the ground, then you know after that week of rain, they haven't been watering it much before or after the rain. So, but everything looks like it's grown really good. We'll go get Rachel after these first four. Now, one, two, three. So all four of these, we did aerate, seed, and fertilize. I'm not sure when we did the last three. It might have been 14 days ago, maybe 21 days ago, but we'll see. I'm very, very happy with this seed so far. And I'm going to hand sharpen my blades a little bit just to make sure they're a little sharp. I never got to take them off. One of them is stuck on still. Um, so I'm going to deal with that later, but I have a, a sharpening rock. I'm going to just edge the blades with them. So they have a little bit of a sharpness to them, but let's go check out this lawn. Cause I am very happy. So now we're coming up on lawns where we've been aerating and seeding. They've been aerated and seeded for the last week. Looks like there's moles in here. Oh boy. Yeah. Look moles. What the heck moles, but look at all the seed that's come up. So it's germinating nicely. I don't see any cores. Well, there wouldn't be any cores on this side, but we're gonna mow this anyway, get it all cleaned up. Um, and then we'll probably put it on because the grass is still, as you see, this baby grass that's here is still like really new. Um, but I am still gonna mow it because we don't want leaves on it. It's not gonna hurt it, but everything's germinating really well. And the soil does feel dry because we haven't had rain now since, um, Friday, I think it pulled out. Friday morning, it pulled out. So what is it? In two more days, it's been a week. But you can see all the dew on my hand. Usually that's good. Um, and then if we get a couple rains in between. But I'm gonna go ahead and start mowing this one up. Let's get it done. Not too bad, I'm done mowing. I'm gonna, uh, it's the only thing. You gotta be really careful, that'll fix itself. Um, I'll show you what it looks like from the end, other end. The stripes actually look nicer. I'm gonna go around and weed eat all this and we are gonna recommend, cause there's no rain for two weeks, that they try to, they can't water every other day now for at least a half hour each section. To at least do an hour each section at least this week once. You can tell it's a little dry in some areas. So let me get to trimming, guys. This is a big improvement. Look at all the new grass growing. 
Now, like I said, we're gonna recommend that they water. I'm gonna tell them to put a cup out in each area and water it until it had one inch of water gets in it, at least this week, because no rain is coming. And it definitely needs water. Okay, let's go do the next two. I think one of them I'm only mowing the front because I aerated that one like a week and a half ago. But the front we did like two, three weeks ago. Here's the other one that we aerated and seeded about. This might have been a week after this one. But even so, we don't mow this one. It looks nice. All the seeds growing in. Oh boy, I can't wait until I see it mowed. Okay, let's go do another. I think I have three more to do. They're not too easy. Probably a lot of leaves, but we'll get them. Here's the next one. You can see all the baby grass seed growing. The moles are out of control in this yard. I think I'm going to bring a whole bucket of mole scram and just bombard the whole yard with like a heavy thing of that mole scram. Okay, I'm going to get this one mowed, then I'll get you an This after. one's done. What I ended up doing is throwing a little more seed down. Look at all the grass popping up. Over here, where that was a lot of that calingula, I guess it was. Um, some sort of sedge. We killed it all, or almost all of it. So she's gonna go ahead and heavily water that over the next week and see what we get. Not bad though. She hasn't been watering it in like six days. So here's the next two we're doing. This one and the one across the street. This one looks like it grew in nicely.
Okay. I'm done the front of the, I'm done this one. Just gotta trim some areas and blow. Not bad. They definitely need to water more too. All the everybody we get that big rain for a week and then we don't get rain for five days and everybody thinks that big rain was good enough for their lawns and they dry out. But I understand not everybody can water, I guess. But it still looks good for no water and just being seeded. Okay, I'm gonna go finish mowing the back one over here with the um, 61 and then we're done. In here. I was checking out the lantana. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'm pretty sure that it's only an annual here though, right? Oh, it might be, I don't know. Yeah. It's one I'm gonna look into now because I really like the little yellow and pink flowers that yeah, are on it. Yeah, it's pretty. I'll show you guys when we get out. So I went and picked up the boss and we are gonna mow three lawns. Um, this one, which is looking really good. Really good. Um, We already didn't see this about a month ago probably, right? Yeah. And then hopefully the other ones look good. Well, the other one we did two weeks ago, a little over two weeks ago. And then the neighbor we actually did a month ago too. Yeah. So we'll see how that one looks. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good morning? I did have a good morning. You had a good morning. So, and it's Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, halfway exactly. through the week? Halfway through the week. It definitely is nice. And the kids always try to like get all their work done by Thursday so that they don't have so they can have a fun Friday um but I don't know we'll see what happens I think we'll be able to do it hopefully I, right I think so so they'll be able to have a fun Friday <laughs> and Chase's um oh there's a really pretty cardinal too right oh, yeah, now I see it um but Chase is actually wanting to learn how to engineer wings so we've been throwing around some ideas dragon wings um, he's really into Toothless right now. Yeah, what is that? How dragon to train, is that? How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, how to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, you got into that all of a sudden. Yeah, um, so now he wants to make his own dragon wings, I guess. So he's asking me for PVC pipe. Oh he might hit you up when you get home. He didn't like have PVC enough time. PVC pipe and everything? Yeah, like he really wants to make... He looked up a video online where this guy had like big like working wings. They went in and out. And he's learning about engineering and science too. So I think... I think it's awesome. I just definitely, yeah, definitely awesome. That is the one thing that I am really enjoying about homeschooling is that you can take tan tangents on like lots of different things because um, it's just something that you want them to learn anyway. And if they're interested at that point in time, run with it. Yeah, definitely, guys. So, but all right, well, we <laughs> should get out and get work in here. My lady, better come back out. Maybe. Should I like move a little bit? Yeah, maybe I should move back a little bit. Okay, guys, we aerated and seeded this lawn about a month ago. Look at it, it's looking good. Nice and thick. 
All the grass is coming in, the baby grass. Let's see what this thing looks like after, see? Could come up a little more against the wall, but these are the water outlets, so some of the seed might have gotten washed away. Okay, let's get this mowed. I almost forgot to record it. That's the lantana we we're talking about, if you guys don't know what lantana is. Yeah, and birds and bees love it. And I like it now, too. So here's the next one. Look how nice this grass is coming in. Pretty, right, guys? Now, this has been seeded for a good month now. Rachel's going to mow the back. I'm going to mow the front, but I think I'm going to blow some of these leaves out into the road a little bit and pick some of them up with the 36. Let me get that done real quick.
this one. We've already done the labor, right on load all that. This is a pretty hill. to plug in my headphones we got seven mode today right yeah i only helped with three you still helped yeah you still get credit boss so that was pretty good leaves guys you seen the leaves wait who did you do today i did Gigi. oh yeah that's right Ursula, david and dog i forgot Doe. i forgot who you did so yeah, that was good. So we had a good day. And the grass is growing and, in oh nice. Oh man, don't they look so pretty, mm -hmm. you guys? I can't wait for a couple more weeks. Yeah. Uh, and we ain't supposed to get a freeze. Well, hard freeze. Hard freeze is 32 degrees or below uh, for a couple days. Um, We're supposed to, I think I've seen the lowest, we're at 40 degrees. I think one day this week and one day next week. And then other than that, still close to 50 at nighttime. Yeah, All but the way that, until almost November. But that 40 degrees is scary enough to our client that has um, a, a system. Oh, um, I don't think he should have. If I could have had him leave it on for another two weeks to water. I know. He because we ain't on. supposed to get no rain in two weeks. Not oh, at all. Man. Maybe it will change, though. Because I thought that, you know, we thought that. And then we got an entire week of rain last week. So it would actually be really nice to have another couple days of that rain. Mm -hmm. um, so that our clients didn't have to be responsible for watering. That would be oh, and also, perfect. guys, um, in two weeks, we will be doing sod. Yeah. Another sod job. Mm-hmm. Do any of you guys do sod? Yeah. This will be our second one in two years, in a year, right? Yeah. We did one, you guys seen the big one we did last year. Yeah, so that was a pretty big one. And that was actually the biggest one that we've done. In, except you did help uh, put in two new houses. We had a client, like, first year, I yeah. guess, we were in business. And he um, helped build two, or they built two new houses, and then he helped the landscaping guys. So there was actually a crew there, which was really nice for Carl. So he really... I just told him where to put the sod at. And yeah. Told him to rake everything. So I didn't have to do too much. No, that was nice, right? It yeah. was easier for you to have a crew. Um, and then the big one last year, you saw, oh, we had to bring in tons of soil. I had a crew for that one, too. If you guys go back and check the video, it was me and Rachel. Yeah. We were the crew, <laughs> yeah, if we, you guys remember. We were the crew. And we had to carry everything out of the truck up the steps or put boards across yeah um, if you guys who've been watching us for a while yeah remember. so if you haven't seen it then go ahead and look back in our videos we'll try to remember to link it but we're just not really no. really great on linking um, but you should be able to find it it was about this time last year and it was our biggest side job and you'll see like we brought in soil and 
It was a couple it was of weeks fun. project, yeah. I liked it. It paid good, though. I mean, we bid it right. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We Okay, we made decent, pretty decent money. We were short on 500 square foot of sod. But yeah. it ended up, we still made what we needed to make. So, yeah. And it was a friend, too. So. Yeah, so but. it wasn't too bad. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. I think we're getting into some pruning tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to start putting videos up every other day for a little while. Um, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning so you guys know when it's going up. Um, just so I can get on a routine. And then once I get extra videos back, if we have them recorded. I'll, if we get ahead. Yeah, yeah, I'll go back to daily videos. But we're going to see what happens for that for now. Yeah, tomorrow might even turn into two videos though. Yeah. Because we're doing a bunch of different stuff. So. I have a lot of different. Rachel got me a sifter that I need to sift out and go through the worms. Oh, yeah, again. with the worms. Oh, yeah, she got right. me a distill, uh, something to distill all the oils. Yeah. And that I have to put on hopefully for this. So weekend. I just called it a still, but you're calling it a distill. I don't know. I, I, we're going to have to look that I guess up. I should read what it says on the box. Yeah. I'll we're new, we're new to the whole essential oils thing. So I'll. We'll make a video on putting it together and doing our first batch of uh, maybe some lemon balm or some uh, yeah. lavender. So it's not an alcohol still that we got. It's um, it's just for essential oils. So I can't make alcohol with it? I don't know. You might be able to, to be honest with you, but I don't know how to do it. We just really... Is it illegal to make alcohol with a still? I think it might be, babe. <laughs> oh, it is? I, I don't drink might, anyway, so. I think, yeah, we don't we drink. We don't drink. We, we um, had one And drink. it was purely for essential oils. Yeah. Like, that excites Well, you're allowed us. to make your own beer. Oh, oh yeah. I guess you are, because they have, like, those kits and stuff that you can buy, right? If I were a beer drinker or an alcohol drinker, I'd make my own beer and get into that, but we're not... We don't drink at all. We had one drink on vacation, you guys seen, and that was the first drink in like two years, so. Yeah, we learned our lesson. <laughs> we we got it out of our system young. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we really do appreciate you guys watching. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy, guys. Or at least try. Have a good Have night. Have a good night.